and welcome to today's video. Today we will be having a discussion on specialized transduction. In my previous video it was about the topic generalized transduction and I hope you are now clear with that. And so moving on to the specialized transduction. And as you know transduction is the process of genetic transfer between two strains of bacteria with the aid of a bacteriophage. And so in specialized transduction what happens is that a bacteriophage infects a bacterium, it attaches with the wall of a bacterium and then it injects its DNA into the bacterium. You can see here the red colored DNA. So the phage DNA get uh, it's taken into the bacterium and soon this phage DNA gets integrated with the bacterial chromosome. You can see the red colored DNA gets integrated in the bacterial chromosome and then in this stage the, now it is called prophage and this at some uh, at certain conditions at particular conditions like UV radiation or the presence of some chemicals these such type of conditions induce this prophage to disin uh, to form uh, dissociate from the chromosome uh, chromosome of this bacteria and now what happens it goes on for replication and inside this bacterium replication of viral DNA occurs and soon after the bacteriophage needs not only the genetic content but it, it also has to synthesize its outer capsid. So when the viral DNA replication gets over what it does is it disintegrates the chromosome of bacteria so the bacterial chromosome you can see it is degraded here into small fragments and only the viral DNA with some amount of bacterial DNA persists and after that the viral capsid is synthesized and assembly of bacteriophage occurs each of these chromosome gets into each of the capsid thus whole bacteriophage is now complete in assembly and then what happens it is released from the bacterial cell so the bacterial cell lysis occurs and then the newly formed bacteriophages are released to the outside when these bacteriophages are released you can see now this bacteriophage is having a DNA content which is a mixture of or which is a combination of both ba first bacterium and bacteriophage. See it is having a red colored DNA which is of the bacteriophage and a blue colored region which is from the which is a portion of this first bacterium. So when these bacteriophages are released uh, and it at certain point it comes to interact with another bacterium this is the second bacterium so it interacts with another bacterium and it attaches to the bacterial cell same way like what happened here and it inserts its DNA into the second bacterium's cytoplasm and recombination occurs between the homologous portions that is of the first bacterium and this bacterium and as as a result of this recombination you can see the segment from the first bacterium's DNA gets integrated into the chromosome of the second bacterium. So what is the final result here? The segment of DNA from first bacterium is transferred to the second bacterium with the help of bacteriophage so that is what is occurring in specialized transduction and here it is called specialized because only so not all the portions of the bacterial chromosome can be transferred but only a specialized regions 
are transferred through this type of transduction see here here the portion of the bacterium bacteria bacterial chromosome which is in contact with this phage dna is taken to the second bacterium so that is how only specialized regions are being transferred and this is all about specialized transduction i hope you are clear.